Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Bear River Blogger and today we are out on Farmington Bay Waterfowl Management Area with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources and we're on airboats right now. We're just headed out to go catch Canada geese with these airboats for their Canada Goose Leg Banding Program. And what they do is they go out and catch the Canada geese, put them in these crates, take them back to shore, they process them, they put the aluminum leg bands on them, each has a unique number on the band, and then they put them in this big pan and then when they get done, with all the geese and they turn them loose back into the water that way so they're all together and they can kind of find their family groups again and they when they go back out in the wild and they put these leg bands on them and they send the numbers into the USGS the United States Geological, Geological Survey bird banding laboratory so when the, the uh, number gets reported again like when it was harvested by a hunter or someone sees it which I've done many times with photography I've reported leg bands in they can tell where the bird was banded and they can tell where the bird was, uh, was observed later and they kind of get understanding the migration routes of these Canada geese so it's quite an interesting program and there's it's a more detailed than what I just explained and I have a blog post on my website I'll put a link down in the description below for uh, anyone that wants to read a more detailed version of why they do this leg banding program and, and kind of what's about what's it all about but what you're watching here is actually how they catch the Canada geese with these uh, with these airboats they go out and literally catch them one by one put them in these orange crates, take them back to shore, take care of them, band them, and then they turn them loose again at the uh, at the end of the day. So that's what you're watching here. So I just wanted to show you guys how they how they do this. It's quite an involved process and it's quite interesting. And I was able to ride on these airboats and take this video footage and kind of show you from A to Z. You'll see the whole process um, in this video if you watch it all the way to the end. So but anyway, I hope this is interesting. I hope these little video updates are uh, quite interesting. And like I said, check out the description below. I'll put an article about the leg banding program. Uh, that the Division of Wildlife does. And also, if you want to support this channel, go to the other website. I'll put down a link in the description below. Our other website is birdshirtsandmore.com where we sell nature and bird watching themed hoodies and t-shirts and stuff. That helps support our channel, helps support our website, bearofblogger.com. It kind of keeps everything going. So anyway, I won't talk over this video any longer, so I'll just kind of let you guys watch and see what's going on. But if you like these video updates, feel free to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And we will catch you on the next video update.
adult to determine which band it is. Local, so okay. so we can tell this is a local because it's got downy feathers in its head. You can see them on its back. And then you can also tell looking at the feet. Um, lighter lining on there. So what we do is we flip them over and we look at the cloaca. Put a little pressure on the sides and girl parts pop out or boy parts pop out. This is a female here. There's a very important right there. there. Female part, so um, band, local. So we put these stainless steel bands on. On this band, if you look on the bird, you can see there's a unique number to this bird. 1128 and 117. That bird, that number is unique to this bird. So, 41 local female. I'll enter that data now in the USGS uh, bird banner. So if anybody comes across it, they can just put that local band. Um, they'll get all today's data, so they'll come over there and band it on June 12, 2025, and band it at the local female server, so that it was produced out here, and so on Tuesday we found a bird that I banded in 2000, 20-year-old bird, so pretty cool data. Uh, you know, just seeing how, how long it's been.